This is my Walco WM14 mini machine. And I'm going to show you my toolmaker's vice and some adjustments I've made to it. You see, it just fits nicely on this small table. <clears throat> Underneath here, I've got the parallels I've made and fixing bolts and I did the light and the DROs <coughs> so this is the vice fixed down on the table right you've probably seen this type of vice before it's either called a toolmaker's vice or a screwless vice and um, it works by having several steps that this bar engages in uh, it makes it simple to use <coughs> but you do have to be careful you don't unscrew the rod too much otherwise that will fall out So these steps are every 15 millimeters, and to uh, help know where I am in um, the positioning, I've engraved a, m a mark there every 15 millimeters, starting at the end. So if you open the vise fully and start there, um, then you can got a good idea of the range of the jaw moving <coughs> and it will go just beyond the two marks there and it stops <coughs> and you can see by the, the angle of this you've reached the extent of that closing um, when you want to move the jaw you need to have this at least halfway or in, in the vertical position and then you can tilt that to move easily to and fro. This model's got two springs behind here that help keep that in place. So that was my first modification. Now let's put it on the mini machine. I find um, you want the vice position so that a small cutter can pass beyond the work and clear the edge of the work and that makes it easier to use. Um, and I've made some clamps here, one on either side, that um, Help hold it down firmly. It needs clamping tightly because it can move easily if you're doing heavy cuts. So that is a great help. Right, when I first got the vise, uh, I wanted a way of locating it in the same position. So I made this the adapter that's adjustable goes on here that works on the edge of the table and you just push it up to the edge and then clamp it and you can make adjustments there to get it straight but after a while I decided I want something better than that and I made another bar with some locating discs there that goes on this side So 
So I drilled the holes in the bottom of the vise with a tungsten drill and then made an insert with the thread glued in. And now when you put that on they're very firmly in position. Bring up the clamps and add a little cover. You see there's no movement there and then tighten that. So the next thing we need is um, a sort of a, an end stop and you've got these two holes one either side that, that come pre-drilled where you can fix an end stop so I've got one there <coughs> So I can either put that there just to line up with the end of the vise or I can put this one with an adjustable probe to go anywhere that you like. And both very useful. So the final thing was to stop any swarf going under here because when you adjust it you lift that up and you wouldn't want swarf in there getting under there. So I made a little cover there and then a little flap here and I can very easily adjust that for keeping all the dirt out of the vice.